are, sweetie. Oh, goodness gracious. That is a very sexy garment. I mean, oh, gosh, look at that. That really does it for me. That is incredible. That is just driving me crazy with desire. That is screaming hot, hot, steamy, hot. Get your daughters. Pardon me, won't you? Did I tell you Ms. McGinty died? <laughs> so, so, so then we're finished here, right? <laughs> well, in that case, may I be the first to wish you a happy anniversary? Happy anniversary, mm -hmm. <sighs> Ten years. Ten years. That's a big deal. Ten years together? Are you kidding? Ten years? That's a fourth of your life. That's a third of your life. That's two thirds of your life. That's nearly all your life. You hungry? I'm starving. Mm. I wonder what the kids are making us this year. What did they make us last year? Uh, sweet and sour waffles. No, that was the year before. Oh, uh, Cajun milk? two years ago. Uh, uh, eggs Benadryl. Uh. It's a cantaloupe with the dead lamb. Uh, well, well, whatever it is, we'll eat it with love and hopefully survive. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? What? Ten years. Yeah. <laughs> nice going. You too. Can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. Are you generally pleased with the choices you made in life? Yes. Huh? Things turn out okay? Yes. Are you generally pleased? Oh, yeah. Good. 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 <laughs> oh, stop that. Hi, Mom. It's been 10 years, for God's sake. <laughs> By 10 years, your father was sleeping in the car. <laughs> How are things going in the kitchen? Well, uh, there are two proposals on the table. Bonnie is suggesting bacon tartare, but Wendy has her heart set on grape nuts teriyaki. Please. You'll eat it with love. Oh, I know. We I know. said it, we know it. I've snuck you the customary bananas, the customary Pepto, and I wish you Godspeed. I'm getting the box. I'm getting the banana. <laughs> I love anniversary morning. Uh, me too. Ow! What? Oh. Your damn dumbbells. Why don't you just throw them out? I can't lift them. There you go. The marriage box. Uh, marriage box. You ready? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> look at all this stuff. Oh, look, honey. Oh, Donna and Jimmy. Yeah. Hmm. And look, sweetie. Donna and Jimmy. Look, baby. Oh, <laughs> Shlomo and Ruchel. <laughs> Next door. Oh, Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> Wonder what their kids are making them. Come in. Mom? Yeah? Is cornstarch the same as spray starch? No. Is spray starch poison? Yes. Okay. Mommy, don't lift the mixing bowl! <laughs> mixing bowl and spray starch, they're making cream of shirt. <laughs> Should we ration the second banana? No, you can have it. It's no, right. honey, no, you have it. No. 
What is this? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Me either. Open it. Oh. What? It's nothing. What is it? It's it's not. It's a little. It's enough. It's silly. It's enough. Well, may I see it? Oh God, I don't believe it. <laughs> Donna DeVille's 10 most important attributes I would like my husband to have. What the heck is this? It's the 10 most important I know what I it have. is, I'm saying. It's a, a list that I made when I was 20. It was long before I ever even met you. And the idea was that on my wedding day, I'd open it up and read it and see how many of those attributes I'd actually found in a husband. But you don't remember our wedding day. It was chaos. I never even got to read it. Attribute number one, blonde. <laughs> As I say, I was young. Number two, willowy, like a figure skater. <laughs> young with a thing or two to learn about figure skaters. Attribute number three, doesn't work with his hands. Wrong, I was wrong. Number four, doesn't stare at me dolefully. <laughs> now that is a forlorn stare, and forlorn stares make me hot. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, dead mother. Uh, den mother. Den, Number den. six, heavy smoker. <laughs> so that he could die young and I could marry you. Number seven, rich. And honey, you are doing very well. Attribute number eight, French. <laughs> You feel very French to me. Number nine, plays flute or fife? Sorry. What is that? Sorry. Plays flute or fife? I like musicians. Honey, a guy who plays the fife is not a musician. He's either a revolutionary or a puppet. You're upset. No, 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 no. I'm not upset. I'm... I'm a little thrown. Yeah. Well, 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 can you blame me? I mean, this is, this is the anti-Jimmy you're describing. I am the exact opposite of the person of your dreams who apparently is a blonde, gay, French orphan in an iron lung. Taste changed, Jim. Yeah, apparently so. Well, now, what happens exactly, honey? What happens? You, you hit 27 years of age and suddenly you throw it all out the window? What, what, you settle for upright and breathing? No. I must be a grotesque disappointment to you. No. You did give in. No. You know, I can't believe you gave in so easily. Jimmy. You were young when we got married. Honey. There was still hope. This is just ridiculous. Didn't you think of getting out a personal ad at least? Woman seeks motherless albino Parisian with big bucks, no pursuits. You're making no sense. Attribute number 10. No, oh, no, don't read number 10. Don't. Soul of a poet? <laughs> I ask you not to read it. God. I ask you not to. Soul of a poet? Oh, Jim, I know where you're going, and don't go there. I thought we weren't going to have the fight this year. Don't go there. You know, I really thought this year we were going to get through this anniversary morning without having the fight. You're going there. I'm not going there. You're not? I'm not if you're not. Well, I am not. Then I'm not. Well, good. 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 <coughs> what else is in the box? <laughs> yes. Um... Place cards oh. and a copy of, of the menu. Oh. And you remember those little cheese pots? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, your boot in the ear. Oh, yeah. And and can can I just say one thing? Oh, God. Just one thing. Donna. No fight. We're not having the fight. I just want to say one little tiny harmless thing, and then the issue is closed. Okay. What is it? You ruined our wedding. Here. <laughs> Was it really? so difficult for you to write your own vows. The vows fight, ladies and gentlemen. It was important to me, Jimmy. Clearly, because the man with the soul of a poet would certainly have written his own vows, wouldn't he? All right, just forget the soul of the poet. Why? Why, why? You say that nothing, not one single thing has survived from Donna DeVille's ten most important attributes? No. Huh. So one thing did survive? Yes. Death, the soul of a poet. Yes. Uh, and I demonstrated exactly the opposite of a soul of a poet, but I didn't write my vows, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the soul of an idiot was what I demonstrated, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, the soul of some big, dull, stupid guy. Huh? Yeah, I'm not a poet. You said so yourself. <laughs> Funny, is everything all right down there? Is this full? Yeah. Then everything's fine. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Thank you, sir. <laughs>
bet you wrote your own vows, didn't you, huh? You smug, double-breasted bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's why she looks so happy. <laughs> Look, the only reason I didn't write them was because... Well, I was nervous enough on my wedding day. I didn't want to throw public speaking into the bargain. Well, you had to speak the standard vows publicly. Yeah, but I wasn't being evaluated as an author, only as a repeater. But we had agreed to do it. Well, that's not what I recall. Oh, yes. I said, why don't we write our own vows? And you said we should. Yeah, I said we should. I didn't say we would. Well, should lead you right into would. Not the way I meant should. Well, how did you mean should? I meant should as in can't. <laughs> Should as in can't? Yeah, should as in, gee, would be nice if we could, but we can't. I meant it as a kind of wistful, melancholy should. I see. You see? Should means can't. Right. And I suppose will means won't. Oh, honey. And green means blue. And good means pants. No. No? Good does not mean pants. If good meant pants, my good pants would be redundant. <laughs> I just didn't want to disappoint my wife before her wedding day. I see. You see? Yeah, you'd rather disappoint her during the actual ceremony. But you see, you say you see, but you don't see. <laughs> Jimbo! Gene? Can I come in for a minute? It's my wedding anniversary morning, Gene. Oh, no. Can I come in for a minute? <laughs> a very private, intimate time between me and my wife. Can I come in for a minute? <laughs> okay. okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, look, uh, I, I, I won't take up a lot of your time. I just want, oh, geez. You're having a vows fight again, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's early to this year. Okay, well, uh, I won't. I won't stay long because I'd rather have my eyes pecked out by ravens. But I wanted to. I wanted to give you this bottle of bubbly, so you can celebrate the joy of the day, <laughs> or drink away your pain as you see fit. I wanted to say that you two prove to all of us single people that love can endure. Despite certain agonies that never go away, you make me want to get married again. And at the same time, you give me pause, which is good. So thank you guys for the good and Bad and happy anniversary. Thank you, Gene. Those are wonderful sentiments. Yeah. Did you write them yourself? Okay. <laughs> these, uh, these eyes won't peck themselves out. So. Do you know what the truth is? I sense I will in a minute. The truth is that you and I felt differently about the importance of writing our own vows. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. To me, our love wasn't like any other two people's. And standard vows weren't good enough. But to you... Our love was just standard love. You might as well get the vows right out of the book. Hi there. Hello. Quick question. Yeah. Do you guys have the baby up here with you? No. no. Oh. It's okay, Grandma. We found him. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Donna, I'm going to tell you something now, but before that, I'm going to ask you not to laugh or poke fun in any manner. W will you promise me that? Yes. I didn't want to cry in front of everyone. What? If I read my own vows, I would have cried, and I didn't want to cry in front of everybody. Why not? Didn't want people to make fun of me. Well, nobody would have made fun. Yes, they would. Oh, Jim, it was the 90s. Guys were crying all over the place, and nobody <laughs> made fun. Well, they would have made fun of me. What makes you think that? Well, because I feel, I've always felt that, um, I cry funny. <laughs> what? I cry funny, I do. Oh, that's absurd. People laugh at me when I cry. Jim, I have seen you cry, and I never laugh. You're the only one. That's why I married you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You do not cry funny. I do. It can be a living hell, believe me. You normal cries, you have no idea. Oh, Jim. No, I, I imagined everyone laughing at me. Your parents, my daughter, and you, humiliated by this, this buffoon you were marrying, this, this lummox who had no business marrying a woman like you in the first place. And I said to myself, Jimmy, just stick to the standard vows, which may be familiar enough that you, you won't get caught up in their poetry, and if you're lucky, you won't cry. You are 
Such a liar. What? You do not cry funny. You don't cry the least bit funny, and you know it. I do. I cry ridiculous. You do not. That, that McDonald's commercial, if you want to be embarrassed about something, be embarrassed that you cry at McDonald's commercials. The man was blind. What are you, made of stone? <laughs> well, congratulations, Jim. We're not only having the vows fight, but you've made it even more miserable than usual. Jim, what are you doing? Oh, that's mature. You lose a fight, and now you're going to go sit in the closet. What are you, six? You're leaving me? You bought a new suit jacket. You bought a new suit jacket so you can leave me? Remember those? Your tails? Yep, my basted tails with a 34-inch waist I'd grown out of by the fish course. I begged you to rent. Oh, no, no, no. I was not going to marry a woman like you in rented clothing. No, no, no. You'll never wear that tuxedo again. You don't know that. I may become a conductor. <laughs> or a concert fifist. <laughs> Jim. No, no, no. <coughs> Just look inside the uh, jacket pocket. Your retainer? <laughs> Try the other pocket. That's Parker's Red Lion Resort, Santa Barbara, California. Perhaps you remember the hotel? Of course I do. Look inside. Oh. Uh, may I read them? How about I read them? Would you? <clears throat> My vows by Jimmy Stoss. <laughs> I, James, take you, Donna, to be my wife. I promise to love you, respect you, and honor you. Always and uh, in all ways, when life is easy and when it is difficult, I will hold your heart more dearly than my own, and I will be by your side for as long as we both shall live. The heavens have brought me a beautiful, green-eyed girl whose smile melts my troubles, and I shall not disappoint her. You did write them. And they've been in your pocket this whole time. And they are beautiful. You do have the soul of a poet. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you ever read them before? We've been having this fight for 10 years. Well, that's exactly why I never read them. Because you, 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 you always bring up the, the, the vows in anger, and, and, and I, I always get too, too mad to read them. <laughs> Read them once, for God's sake. I mean, once in all these years. Oh, come on. Is this going to be the fight for the next 10 years? No. I am sorry to have doubted you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for marrying me. Thank you for not laughing at me. <laughs> Was close down there. And for a while it looked good, but sadly, breakfast fell just a little shy of our hopes and dreams. Isn't that right, girls? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you tell everybody which iron is the waffle iron? Not the one that shoots steam. Very good. <laughs> and Bonnie, aka the torch, of what did we learn about 15 minute eggs? They explode. <laughs> right. But what the hey? The important thing is we had fun, right? Right. That's right. Now, too much fun in one day is bad for Grandma, so I'm going to go home to my cat. <clears throat> I love you. 
I love you. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> It's like cereal. It is. Ugh. This is great. <laughs> Daddy? Yes, honey? Are you okay? Uh, yes, honey. I'm... Daddy's just happy. That's right. He's crying because he's happy? That's right. Sometimes we cry at happy occasions, like our anniversary. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Daddy? Yes, honey? You cry funny. <laughs> That's not my daughter's, is it? Oh, good. Because this one, this one puts the other one to shame. I mean, this one is pure liquid desire. This one transforms me, honey. This one screams raw sex, raw sex right now. It's your mother's. I should just not come in here. 